Hi, we're here at UC Expo on the EPOS stand. I'm here with Paul. Welcome, Paul. Hi, Paul. Um, so, you guys are in kind of high quality meeting room audio. Mm. Um, from a magazine point of view, we've really seen a trend in the last couple of years, especially with the you know, return to work and hybrid work. People asking not just for audio, but for high quality audio. It seems like the audio in meeting rooms, huddle rooms, boardrooms is getting better. Is that your, your, your guys' experience? Yeah, absolutely. We always hear that people will be okay with okay audio, but when it comes to audio, they need something really meaty, really chunky for them to really hear what the, the, how the conversation's playing out. So with our heritage, with Sennheiser Communications, we're now EPOS, we see that through the plethora of technology that we have. So yeah, completely agree with you. People want really crisp audio because you lose all that body language in a, in a, when you're not face to face. So you have to have that richness of tone, that pitch, that sound really coming through the devices that are in your either personal collaboration space or in a meeting room. So you, you think that message is getting through then that actually I don't just need to invest in audio, it needs to be a certain quality of audio to really improve the meeting, not just for the people in the room, but the people maybe who are at home who are sort of dialing in? Absolutely. I think we see a disconnect between amazing audio and people spending, how much money people are willing to spend on their device. So there is a disparity between having great audio and then associating that to a, to a corporate budget. Yeah. So, you know, through the devices that we have, whether it's a small meeting room space or a large meeting room space, or even when you're working from home, we've really got a device that can really cater for those budgets, but also those workspaces. Fantastic. I mean, one of the trends we're seeing, it used to be people would tell you this, this box has 100 features, or this box mm. has 200 features, you must buy it because it's got so many features. Mm. But this seems a real turn to, this has got one button, this is one click, this is one cable. Mm. How, how do you guys view that kind of dynamic? Are, are you looking to make things as easy as possible to use for your end users ultimately? Yeah, I mean, our background is, is massively around audio engineering. So we love talking about the speeds and feeds of what devices are doing. We've got suspended speakers, we've got 10 million microphones. Like you say, people want ease of use, whether that's one touch join, whether they can drive it from the application they're choosing to use, or whether they can just simply go into a meeting room, press one button and join and start collaborating. We still do see a penchant for pedigree in audio, yeah. um, but the simplicity for an end user is really, really coming through with the devices and, and how we design them moving forward. Fantastic. Paul, great to spend time here. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Bye.